thinking through this card sort, it's a little different than previous ones where we had to put things in hierarchical or whatever order. Um, and we've used the evidence gradient and microbiome. But when we look at this one, they tell which ones do you have at what part of the gradient. So I would have done a, you know, just written them all out and then given the kids a three, two, one, you know, the highest is three, the middle is two, the lowest is one, and just write it in next to the cards um, written out on a slide and just giving them that. But here it goes, after they discuss them, they are told to get rid of the cards that are not important to them and to return the ones that are into an evidence card thing. And so in a notebook, I want my kids to be able to delete the cards after they've seen them. And so this is a different form of manipulation on the slides. So if I want kids to be able to manipulate and delete things, I've got to put it at this level. So I'm going to start here, theme builder. I need my title here. And if you click copy, when you're, this is blinking, it won't copy over, by the way. Copy, paste. Now I've got to make things to manipulate. I also want to write keepers. I want this on the slide so they can't touch it. So again, I close this out and I put it in, I touch that one and I put it in here, but now I want to get the cards. And by the way, Amplify always has the cards back at the opening of the chapter, at the opening of the whole unit. They're under print material. And you just have to find them in the print material. I imagine they're usually towards the bottom. Sorry, guys. I don't mean to make you dizzy. And so these are the station cards, the station cards, the green and blue cards. Okay, I'm going to turn these so we can read them. So here's card A. I'm going to copy it here. Copy, and I am going to actually oops, paste it in as a card so that the kids can move this, delete it, and everything like that. I would like to have an outline around it just so it makes it looks more card-like. But because, again, I'm putting this on the white view, the kids will be able to move this, expand it, and delete it. And so I plan to do this with whoops, all the cards. So I come over and look at this one and copy it whoops, and put this one in, copy. And so for my kids... And now I might have to resize them a couple times because they're supposed to have A through F on here. And you can make them fairly small because the kids can expand them once they get the ones on here that they want. So they found I like A, G, B, and G or whatever. Um, but this allows the kids then, at when we get to the side, now they've sorted the cards and they've sorted a manipulative card. They can go back in their notebook and say, yeah, we kept this one, but we deleted that one. And they can physically touch it and delete it and keep the ones they want and do away from it. So you can have manipulatives that move. On the iPad, big things are easier to move, but I'll let you know, little boxes, like if you're doing you know, just some decorating of things or moving tiny things, it's really hard for the kids to move them and don't try it. But big things like these, these are much easier to do.